well has some free time. Auntie Billy has a shift at the hospital until 9 p.m. tonight. It's cold as a motherfucker outside, so no ride with the boys. No yard work needs to be done. I probably could maybe start getting to work on the Husky and Starch, Cagney and Wacy Mobile, yeah, Starsky and Hutch Torino that Will sent me. I probably should get started on that, seeing that Z28 and the Ho 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 Mary GTO is done. Something else crossed my mind. As you know, I've been in the holiday Christmas spirit for a while now. And, uh, for a while, and, uh, My friend Ryan here, Mr. Swinger, he agreed to play guitar tracks to my forthcoming Uncle Brian's Greatest Hits, Volume 4. Oh, and by the way, Ryan, what we discussed, I got us booked at Abbey Road Studios where the Beatles recorded. And in fact, I got Ringo Starr that will be a sound engineer and produce it um, because Ringo has connections and now AI is the big thing you know it's going to hook me up with John Lennon and George Harrison singing back, backing vocals for me in this way so you don't have to be alone on guitar he's going to get John Bonham Bonzo from Led Zeppelin he's going to get him to play drums and I think our group will end up going places you know what I mean Maybe we could even find a cell phone day opening like Miley Cyrus. You know what I'm saying? Or Justin Bieber. But anyway. I'm going to throw this out here. Uh, I already know what I'm going to be using. It'll be another Christmas collection edition. But I'm going to add another what is soon to be a great multi-platinum gold uranium hit. Uh... I wrote down a few things. I'm going to run it by you now. Let me know, you know, if it's a hit or a miss. If you think it'll be a miss, I'll stop dead in my tracks. I won't write another lyric for this song. If you think it'll be a hit, let me know, and then I'll continue, okay? So, in the Christmas spirit, hopefully this makes it on my Uncle Brian Greatest Christmas Collection Hits Volume 4. Ready? <clears throat> Here comes Sanford Claus, here comes Sanford Claus, right down junkyard lane. Car is a quacking, mouth is a yakking, about as new as claim. What do you think? I did that with a little, like, Frank Sinatra type inspiration. You know what I mean? So, if you think it's going to be a hit, let me know. I'll continue with it. Ryan, uh, I'll let you know what the verdict is. And hopefully we can add this to our upcoming uh, collaboration. It's going to be fucking huge, man. It's going to be fucking awesome. Seriously, it's going to be fucking awesome. I can feel it in my bones. Um, anyway, now I have more feeling. I have better sense of taste, better sense of smell. Since I haven't had a cigarette in 11 days now. You know, maybe that's why I'm feeling it more in my bones, you know, if I'm not smoking and all this time. Maybe that could be the reason. But anyway, hope your son ego is good. Uh, my New England Patriots w will not get their ass kicked again today. Fucking two and eight. They're fucking horrible. The good news is they won't be getting their ass kicked today. Because they're not fucking playing today. It's their bye week. Anyway, I'll watch some football. I'll probably get a hold of my buddy Jimmy. See what he's up to. Tell him he come by, grab a pizza, you know, bring a pizza over. We'll watch football together. So anyway, hope you have a good Sunday. Catch you tomorrow for happy Monday. And let me know. If the newest hopeful addition to my Uncle Brian's greatest Christmas collection hits volume four, you know, here comes Sanford Claus. If you think that should be included, will it be a hit or a miss? Let me know. Let Ryan know. My new collaborator partner, you know, like Elton John had Bernie Taupin. John Lennon had Paul McCartney. You know what I mean? Tiny Tim had Frank Zappa. You know. Karen had a brother, Richard Carpenter. Hey, speaking of Karen Carpenter, 
You know, that all these years after her death, they finally sold her house. The realtor said the main problem was the reason it took so long all these years is that most home buyers they want to buy a house that has a kitchen where they can cook and eat. Anyway, that's about it for today.